So here we go. Here's the promised example. This is an example from Auburn Sound in Western Australia. This is the first seawater um, desalination plant built in Australia. And you can see a little map of the bay okay the Coburn Sound region and with little dots and the little dots show you where the observations were taken that are shown on the left side okay, you have little dots and the red dot is where the desalination outlet is okay. so now in these uh, on the left I put the this one is the laser pointer here on the left you see measurements of salinity okay? measurements of salinity at the stations which are shown here in these little dots and the red triangle points to the outlet of the desalination plant near the bottom Here's the outlet, and you can read off the salinity levels on the right side on this scale. There are so many black lines, which are the contours, that you cannot see the red color, hard to see, but you get clearly elevated salinities up to 38 in an otherwise salinity where you have lower 36.4. Okay. You can also see elevated salinity levels away from the discharge point, where you get higher salinities of, this is green color here, of something like 37.2. And you can look at this graph, you can get a horizontal scale if you go down to the bottom of the, uh, the, the scale of the bottom graph over a distance of one to two kilometers. So this is a long distance exceeding 100 meters by far. And in the bottom distribution, you can see dissolved oxygen saturation. And you can see that in the regions where you have elevated near bottom salinity, you get a lower dissolved oxygen saturation. Okay, where the dissolved uh, the saturation has dropped to something like 70%. Okay, and this is the signature of the discharge. You can also work out what is the dilution that you get. Okay, dilution from the salinity. Okay, near field 16 to 1, midfield 24 to 1, which means that one unit of the discharge is mixed with 16 parts of ambient sea water. And from that, if you now know what are the ingredients in your discharge, you can work out the resultant concentrations that you get of other pollutants that may be included in the discharge. Okay, and this feature here has initially caused quite a bit of trouble for the desalination operators because they had to reduce the output dramatically. This is from 2008, uh, a newspaper article okay and which gives you the the example of the they had to cut the diesel plant output and after that they argued they needed to change the conditions in the operating license and they also claimed that this is a natural condition that you have nothing to do with the desalination discharge. However, I decided to show you this example because you can apply your knowledge um, of density stratification, of 
and it nicely fits into a lecture on, on a pollutant discharge, a pollutant um, dispersal, sorry. All right.